What's up animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful animator tips within 5 minutes. Now this has to be one of the most suggested tutorials I get, ever, so get ready, cause we're doing wrists. And it's actually quite simple, I'm gonna start by loading a template, which is gonna be my Steve model. I'm also gonna give him a skin that I found on Planet Minecraft. Now the arm already has one bending point in the elbow, if you want the wrist as well, which is another bending point, you need a separate body part. So what we need to do is we have to shorten the arm by a little bit, so we can add another body part with the same texture and we can bend that later on to make the wrist. So we have to open the skin with an image editing program, I'm gonna use paint.net just like always, and ideally I could use parts of the skin which are not used but this is filled to the brim so I simply have to make a new image altogether because there's no room I'm just gonna 50 by 50 doesn't matter I just need some space there we go then you gotta erase the background and we're gonna put our textures here so what you need to do I'm gonna take three pixels from the bottom one two three and I'm gonna cut them out <laughs> Ah, oh, bless me. That's gonna shorten the arm. I wanna paste them in here, because I'm gonna use those same three pixels as my wrist. I also want to cut out the bottom bottom, otherwise the bottom is gonna be floating on the arm. Cut that out as well. And now I want to paste it right above the third face of the arm. You can see where it starts. This is going to be my wrist now. However, this skin has a secondary layer. We gotta do that here as well. Now, I know this is the right arm, but I don't know which one of these is the right arm, so I just, I just wanna check real quick. Ah, it's right beneath. I gave you this skin in the Auto 3D rig tutorial. You can click the eye in the corner to go see it. So cut the bottom out. One, two, three pixels. Cut that out. Paste it anywhere in here. Cut the bottom out. Paste it above the third face. So I want to save this skin. And I want to save this skin underscore wrist. Save it as a PNG and that's it. That's all you need. Now in here I want to update my skin obviously because we just cut out the bottom. As you see the bottom of the arm has disappeared. And now I want to add a new body part to my arm because body parts can bend. And I want to change the position of that body part to be on the very bottom of the arm which looks like it's minus seven. Call this right wrist. So Whenever I bend the arm, the wrist is always going to be on the bottom. And I'll give this wrist a cube. If I want the wrist texture now, I gotta import it in. So add a texture, which is gonna be the skin wrist. Now select the right wrist, go to materials, and select the skin wrist. So now you can drive the texture from, from the skin wrist. Now with the shape selected, open up the UV editor, and simply select this wrist, just like that. Now with the shapes, you only move the pivot offset, not the position itself. And if I move it down, it looks like it's minus three. Now if I bend the arm, it works. And now I can make the wrist bend as well. So let's say bend it on the x-axis, bend a little bit so I can see what I can have to change. Bend the lower part, not the upper part. Custom bend size has to be 3 because our wrist is 3 pixels long. And the offset has to be half of that, so minus 1.5. So now if I bend it, it's not going to offset anything. So let's say I want to make this bend by maximum of 45 and minus 45 so it doesn't break. And even this looks kind of off if you go for too much. Make it bend on the y axis axes, go for minus 20 and 20, make it bend on the Z axis, minus 20, 20. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me today. And I can bend the wrist in all directions. One more thing, the overlays on the right wrist, give it another body part. And this one is gonna be selecting the overlays. I don't know exactly what it looks like, so I'm gonna select this again, and I'm just gonna move it over. I think that's supposed to be it. Move the pivot offset to minus three, just like before, and you have your secondary layer as well. However, I think I have to scale it a little bit. I think if you scale it up by 1.2, it should be fine. Or 1.1. Just eyeball it. It's fine. Yeah, see? No one can tell the difference. It's fine. So you have your bendable arm, which has a bendable wrist. And it doesn't look that odd as well. That's it for me today. Hope I wasn't too long. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you have any tutorial ideas, drop those down below as well. I need ideas, guys. I'm running low on these. Now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and learned a thing or two. And with that on the side, see you next time. Stay sharp.